the bloom sort of came off the rose on big tech and investments, actually, in 2022. What are the challenges faced by a tech CEO? And particularly, how big a factor does China play in that? Because it's not clear to me, at least, what President Xi's policy toward tech is right now. Uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. So what is his policy? I mean, it's, let's step back and say China is the largest or second largest te technology market in the world. I mean, you can measure it different ways. You can say U.S. is number one, but they're very, very close. When I was working, U.S. was a little bit ahead, but they're very, very close. There's a massive market, and you have no one can forecast. I don't believe with confidence can predict Xi Jinping's uh, strategy when it comes to tech. Uh, he's just, he seems to be moderating versus he was very aggressive for the past couple of years. But if you're a CEO uh, in tech, and you're looking at this opportunity for the technology as well as, the, as well as growth in the marketplace itself, there's no consistency in the policy. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to discern what you should do. Uh, my advice would be is, quite honestly, uh, if you can, don't get in the middle of these arguments, if mm -hmm. you can. You know, I mean, and by that I mean uh, government officials will try to drag you into the debate to help their side of the case. One side or the other isn't the point. You never, I say, you never want to be in the middle of two guerrillas that are fighting. You, you just can't win that, you can't win in that fight. So if you can stay out of that, try to stay out of the fight.